Welcome to ESI Africa Insights. Today I'm in conversation with Pax Tau, the Honorable Deputy Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs in South Africa. Mr. Tau, it's good to be with you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Awesome. So let's get straight into it. I know that you are operating very closely in the municipal space. What is the true state of our municipalities? Well, our municipalities are performing at different levels. I should say that you've got a number of well-capacitated municipalities that are able to generate their own revenue to a large extent, less dependence on national government, but they do get their equitable share from national governments. So uh, those municipalities are able to perform against their executive obligations. They are able to distribute electricity. They are able to manage and reticulate water and wastewater systems. They're able to manage roads and stormwater systems, waste management, and a whole number of other municipal functions that they perform. Of course, on the other side of the scale, you have municipalities that struggle with capacity issues. And we've identified that some of these issues are systemic issues. Uh, it is in relation to how we've designed our local government system, their reliance on own revenue. Uh, and you have municipalities that simply don't have the economic base. Uh, some of them are structural issues that are about the responsibility and delineation of responsibility between a district municipality and a local municipality. So if you take water as an example, some district municipalities are water services authorities, and in other instances, local municipalities are. And depending on who's the water services authority, it impacts on revenue, on capacity in the municipality. You also have a whilst uh, ESCOM uh, does electricity generation and transmission, the constitutional injunction is that municipalities are supposed to reticulate electricity. So awesome. they are responsible for distribution yeah. systems, but not all municipalities run their own distribution systems. So they are unable to generate the necessary surpluses that uh, our local government system has designed for them to be able to generate uh, surpluses from electricity. So. I think it's a mixed bag of yeah. issues, yeah. Uh, yeah. but these are receiving uh, close attention from us yeah. as a department. That's that's really encouraging. What I'm hearing from you is well, there will always be issues, but uh, for the majority part of it, we've got well-functioning, well-run municipalities. So my next question is exactly what you touched on around water, energy, uh, electricity. Um, um, you know, what are you doing as a department to solve this water energy crisis? Well, the first thing that we're doing with regards to energy is about providing support to municipalities at a technical level. We've got um, engineers that we have sent through to municipalities and technicians through our municipal infrastructure support agent uh, to, to ensure that we're able to provide the necessary support to our municipalities. But we've identified the need to, for a more comprehensive set of interventions, and we've identified demand side measures mm -hmm. and interventions, including decentralized distribution systems, uh, the need for municipalities to develop willing agreements yes. and willing arrangements, um, feeding tariffs as a mechanism through which municipalities can also generate elected revenue. So we supporting municipalities at the level of the most basic technical capability, but also at a strategic level in terms of the direction that you take with regards to electricity. On the water side, I think it is important to communicate an important message, which is that from a water balance point of view, the country is quite solid. Yeah. And notwithstanding the anticipated maintenance issues that come from the Lesotho Island scheme that would impact supply from Lesotho, we have backup mechanisms to ensure uh, that the water balance remains stable in the country. That does not mean that you do not have localized issues with regards to water security and water supply, including in certain instances, quality issues that we need to manage. So I think it's important that we work as a country on the basis that yeah. our water balance is okay. Let us now focus on instances where there are specific challenges, where challenges in Nelson Mandela Bay recently. Yeah. recently uh, and we've been able to work very closely with the Department of Water and Sanitation with other international partners to support that municipality to be able to address its water uh, security issues. So it is about providing uh, focused attention and focused uh, 
support to yeah. those municipalities. We're working very closely with regards to the municipality of Malutia Pofu to ensure that we're able to, to support them with regards to the water challenges that they have. So it is localized problems and we have to deal with them on a case by case basis. No, definitely. You know what? I'm quite impressed when I hear uh, uh, the way you are so close to the municipalities. You know, so much of this doesn't get to mainstream. What we focus on mostly are the challenges. But uh, your speech and what you're saying is a clear roadmap of what you want to achieve. But one final question that I just wanted to highlight. Do you think municipalities are well capacitated right now, uh, especially to go into this whole energy transition? Uh, as we are having this renewable drive, you know, into the future? Well, it depends on the nature and structure of the municipality. You find that our metropolitan municipalities find it easier because they can procure capacity. They can bring in external consult consultants and other support mechanisms because they have the affordability, but also the technical skills uh, in the municipality to be able to do that. In smaller municipalities, it is, it is a bit more challenging. That notwithstanding, we've identified the need to partner with all the municipalities in ensuring that they can be able to manage the just energy transition. And one of the things that we have done actively as a department is to solicit a variety of partners, uh, ranging from the UK to the EU uh, and other agencies, including the DBSA, uh, to be able to provide the requisite support to the municipalities. The work that we're doing with the DBSA focuses amongst others on ensuring that we're able to provide, to provide support for municipalities to develop adequate business cases to, to be able to access funding. And that's important. So it is about the project preparation. And, and the DBSA is actively working on a project preparation facility on the just transition area so that municipalities are, are able to get the necessary uh, uh, technical capability yeah. to develop those plans. So. Um, notwithstanding the point that I made that the metros have capability, but this is a specialized field. Yeah. And in this specialized field, you need particular uh, capability, and that is what we have sourced in relation to the partners that we've uh, been talking to as a department. Mr. Pakstow, it was a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, we could go on, but we have limited time. Uh, please, um, let's do this again. Thank you. Much appreciated. You're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please uh, subscribe to ESI In Africa Insights and join us uh, for more conversations. Mm -hmm.